Microsoft Windows 10 has the ability to automatically run an application, execute a batch file, or open a specific folder or file at the startup of the machine, or at the point of login of a specific user. In this video we are going to show you how to configure an application to run automatically at startup, and how to enable and disable startup applications on an ongoing basis. The starting point for controlling startup applications is via the Windows settings. Select Apps, and then select Startup. This will show a list of applications that can be started automatically when you log in. You can enable or disable these to auto-run on startup via this screen. If the application you are looking to start up automatically doesn't appear in the Windows Settings Startup configuration, then you will need to add a link to it via the Startup folder for yourself, as a user, or to the common Startup folder for the machine. We will go through this process now. Select the Start button and scroll to find the application you want to auto-run at startup. Right-click the application, select More, and then select Open File Location. This opens the location where the shortcut to the app is saved. If there isn't an option for Open File Location, it means the app cannot be run at startup. With the file location open, press the Windows logo key, plus the R button on the keyboard. Type the command, shell colon startup. Then select OK. This opens the startup folder for you as a user. Copy and paste the shortcut to the app from the file location to the startup folder. If you wish to automatically open a particular file system location on startup, you can also copy in a shortcut to that location into the startup folder. If you wish to add a startup application for the overall machine then you need to proceed as follows. Repeat the process for selecting the application as before. With the file location open, Press the Windows logo key, plus the R button on the keyboard, to open up the command line again. Type shell colon common startup, and then select OK. This will open the common startup folder for the machine. You will likely need administrative privileges to do this. If you now reboot your machine and log in, you should see the application you had added, has started automatically. If you check the settings app startup view at this point, you should see an entry there for the application you added, and you can now enable or disable it for startup from this screen. Note that you should only add an application to either the user startup or the common machine startup but not both. If you do both you will end up with two identical startup entries for the same application. You can add multiple entries to automatically run or open at startup, but remember that each of these will have an impact on your startup time, so you should look to keep the number of startup items to a minimum. If you suspect there are other unwanted applications starting automatically, that aren't showing up in the settings startup screen, then you should open the Task Manager. Type the word Task in the Windows search box, and click on the link for the Task Manager. From within the Task Manager, click on the Startup tab. This will give you a listing of startup applications, and will indicate which ones are enabled for startup, and which ones aren't. If an application entry appears which you believe should be disabled, then right-click on the entry and select the Disable option. Thanks for watching today. Hit a like on the video if you found it of use, and please hit the subscribe button and notification bell to receive notice of more videos like this.